In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to upload a video to YouTube in 2021 from your laptop. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to upload a video to YouTube from your laptop in 2021. The reason why I wanna show you the best way to upload a video is because it's the best thing that you can do in order to grow your YouTube channel. In order to get views and actually start making money on your YouTube channel, you need to upload videos in the right way and upload videos on a consistent basis. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to optimize the upload process on YouTube so that you can get more views and grow quicker. Let's jump onto the laptop and let me show you how we upload videos on YouTube so that we can get more views. So the first thing we do is from the YouTube homepage we head over to the top right hand side and it's a camera with that little plus button and we click on it and we choose upload video. Then we select the file from our computer now it's really important that you name the video file the exact title that you want to use for that YouTube video. This is gonna help YouTube understand exactly what your video is all about and who they should show your video to, which is gonna help you get more views. So once you have your file, click on that open button and the upload process is going to start. Now, depending on how fast your internet is, your upload time will show at the bottom here as well as a progress bar. So you can see the percentage of upload and it gives you an estimated time of how long it's actually going to take to upload your video. Then what we do is we scroll down. Now the first and most important thing to do is to let YouTube know whether your video is made for kids or not. And you need to disclose this, it's really important. Yes, it's made for kids or no, it's not made for kids. Our video is not made for kids, we select that and then we click on that blue next button. And we don't fill in all the details of the description and tags and add the video to playlists in this part of the upload process. All we want to do is get the video uploaded and make sure that we do have it as unlisted so we can edit it later. So we're going to skim through this initial process and then I'm going to show you how to optimize your YouTube video inside of YouTube Studio. We're going to choose to monetize this video. If you are above 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours, YouTube can show ads on your video once you have applied to join the YouTube Partner Program. So if you are part of the YouTube partner program like we are, you can turn monetization on and then you can select what kind of ads you want to show on your video and then select next. If you aren't part of the YouTube partner program yet, then you won't have this step in your upload process. And then add suitability, just letting them know if there is any inappropriate language, adult content, violence, shocking content, harmful, dangerous acts, drug related content, hateful content, firearms related content, or sensitive issues. We have none of the above. If you do have any of those, then you do need to disclose it to YouTube. And then the video elements is, are we gonna add an end screen? We're gonna do that later. And we're gonna add cards later. Click next. And you'll see at the progress bar at the bottom, our upload is complete and it's busy processing the standard definition quality video. Now when you are deciding on your visibility, you can make it private, unlisted or public, or you can schedule your video. We like to leave it as unlisted for now so that we can edit it and optimize it inside of YouTube Studio before we go live. So we're gonna click save and make sure that your video is unlisted. It's really important if you make it public here, then it becomes live on YouTube and your audience will start to see it before you've actually optimized it and your video won't do that well. So make sure that it is unlisted before you click save. Now you can see our video is processing and we can click on this pencil icon to edit the video even while it is processing. So you can see YouTube's letting us know that it's processing. And then the first thing that we do is add a description about our video. This is to let YouTube know exactly what our video is all about and to let our audience know what kind of content is in this video and why they should watch it. 
So in this video, we show people how to download and install Adobe Lightroom Classic Trial. So I'm going to let them know that in the description. Then once we've finished typing out our YouTube description, I want you to head down and we're going to upload a custom thumbnail. Now it's really important to upload a custom thumbnail for your YouTube channel because this is going to help people see exactly what your video is about and it's going to encourage them to click on your video which is going to increase your CTR which is your click-through rate on your video. If you have a high click-through rate then YouTube is going to show your video to more people because they know that they're interested in it and they're going to click on it and they're going to start watching your video. This is one of the most important elements for you to get right in the beginning of growing your YouTube channel in order to get those initial views and show YouTube that you are creating videos that people want to click on and want to watch. So make sure that you do upload a custom thumbnail. We're going to upload a custom thumbnail that we've already created. If you don't have access to custom thumbnails, it means that you need to verify your YouTube channel. And we have a video right here that walks you through how to get your channel verified when you're first starting out. And it's a really important step for you to make sure that you get done so that you can upload custom thumbnails to your videos, get more clicks and get more views. So make sure you do watch that if your channel isn't verified and you haven't enabled your custom thumbnails yet. If you have any issues enabling custom thumbnails, we also have a video here walking you through how to enable your custom thumbnails so that you can get access to them if you're having any issues with that verification. Next, we're going to move on to playlists. Now, I always want you to add your video to three or four different playlists that are relevant to the video that you've created. So we have a few playlists here that we are going to add our video to so that people know exactly what our video is all about. So we have a Lightroom playlist here and we have an Adobe videos playlist. And we're gonna add it to an Adobe playlist. So it is an Adobe product and it is Lightroom, so that's why we are adding it to those categories. Once you've added it to a couple of playlists, click done. And then you're going to see, is your video made for kids or not? We've done that on the first step, so you don't need to do this. And then you can click on show more. Now, if you have a paid promotion, if someone is paying you to create this video, you need to tick that and show and disclose to your audience that it is a paid promotion. Next up, we have our tags. And the tags are really, really crucial for the initial boost of your YouTube video. So you want to make sure that you're creating really good tags for your video to let YouTube know what they're about and who they should show your video to. So the first thing we do is I always add my full title to the tag. So I copy it from the title there and I paste that in there. Now what's really cool is we use an amazing tool called TubeBuddy that helps you choose the right kind of tags for your video. So we head down there and let's see what their recommended tags are once we've added our title to the video. So they're gonna analyze the video title and the first tag that we've added, and they're gonna give us suggestions for what kind of tags we should use in our video. Then what I like to do is sort the tags by keyword score. So how relevant is the actual keyword? So there's Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 tutorial. That's not exactly what we're looking for. We are doing a Lightroom video and it's a Lightroom trial. So there's a free download and install. We're gonna add that. Adobe Lightroom CC trial, that is it. How to download Adobe Lightroom CC full trial. We're gonna add that. Once we added a few tags from the suggestions, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and find some longer tail key phrases that we can use for that specific video. And once you add more tags, I want you to have a look at the character limit that you have for your tags. So you allowed 500 characters and we had 483 out of 500. So you wanna get as close to filling that 500 as you can. And what will happen is if you go over the limit, you'll see that the whole box lights up in red and you'll see how far over the top you are 
of the character limit. So now what we have to do is remove one of the tags to get us back to under 500 characters. So I'm going to remove Adobe Lightroom and I'm going to head up to the top and click on save. Once we've finished adding the tags, I always want you to save the video so that it does update. So you can choose your video language there and you can upload closed captions and subtitles if you would like to. You can update the recording date and location. We don't fill that in. Your license and distribution, this is really important. Make sure you select standard YouTube license. If you select Creative Commons, then people are allowed to download your video and re-upload it and use your content. So make sure that you are using the standard YouTube license. You want to allow embedding and publish to your subscription feed and notify subscribers. Choose a category. So this is a how-to video, a step-by-step -step tutorial. And then comments and ratings. You can hold inappropriate comments and sort by top. And then show how many viewers like and dislike the video. I always like to show that to the audience. Then I want you to head up back to the top and head over to the end screen on the right hand side. Click on that and you can add elements here. So you can add a video to the end of your video to make sure someone carries on watching videos on YouTube, which helps your watch time and your audience retention. So we always like to choose a video that's the best for the viewer. So YouTube predicts who it's for. And then we add a subscribe button to our channel to encourage people to subscribe. Once you've added those, click on the save button. And then we're gonna head over to the cards. So if we mention anything in the video and we want to refer to it at a certain stage of the video, like I did earlier when I pointed to the top corner and you saw the card appear, this is how you add those cards. So you can choose a video that you would like to add. You can add one of your more recent videos to suggest in the top right there. And then you can drag it to wherever you want in the video to see when it pops up and when it's going to be shown to your viewers. Once you're happy with the cards that you have, you can click on that blue save button. And that's all we need to do to optimize a video to get the most views. Once you're ready to go live, you can click on the visibility and change it to public and then click done and then click save. Once you've clicked save, your YouTube video is going to go live and you're ready to share your video with your audience. If you have any questions or queries about uploading a video to YouTube, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you like this video and it helped you, smash that like button. And if you wanna learn more about how to find keywords for your YouTube videos, watch our next video here where we show you exactly how to find keywords that are gonna help you get more views and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.